Hey guys and girls, how are you all doing? I am from Games Rear, and today we're going to take a look at another Dreamcast Classic. Well, in fact, it's not a Dreamcast Classic, because again, it's another port like we had last week. So last week we had Quake, which is a great review, so make sure to check that out. But this week, we have one of my favourites. It's a game that I didn't even realise I had ported over. Again, it's an unofficial port but one they have obviously translated over to the Dreamcast itself, and it is Metal Slug. It's an absolute arcade classic that is now available for all you guys for absolutely free on the Dreamcast. Let's check it out. So here we are, this is my absolute favourite game of all time, or one of the top three. It's Metal Slug. Now this is actually, obviously I'm playing this on the Dreamcast, like I was saying earlier. My uh, real life friend Alex, yeah you know him, the guy who always appears on camera. Yeah this is it, this is Metal Slug for the Sega Dreamcast. Now this was released originally in 1996. Uh, on the Neo Geo systems, be it the arcade or eventually, well, actually, I think it was at the same time, the home consoles. And obviously, nowadays, they have actually also started to appear on systems like the, yeah, you know, even the DS. The DS actually has Metal Slug 7, which only came out a couple years ago. Now, the crazy thing is, this game, the, the series... It's weird because not that many people have really heard of Metal Slug. But the people who have will know this is literally... It started in 1996. And like I said, until up until recently, it's still going. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if it also continues to grow. And the crazy thing is, the art style is exactly the same in every single game. So there's absolute continuity from one game to the other. They all play exactly the same. Uh, it's just like a standard arcade platformer. Very, very tricky. Let me let me tell you, even on easy, which I'm playing on here, it's still a hard game. It really, really is. But anyway, let's let's talk a little bit about what actually Metal Slug is. So, like I said, we are playing the first one here, and the main storyline is you're actually part of a called the Peregrine. I can't even say it properly. Peregrine Falcon Squad, there you go, I got it out, um, to basically fight against General Donald Morden. Well, basically, he's trying to start a new world order. That is what he's basically trying to do. So you're basically a one-man army mowing down absolutely everyone, kind of in a Rambo style, I suppose you'd say, um, to stop Donald... That just doesn't sound like a world leader, does it? Donald, well, I suppose. Be Donald Trump. But anyway... To stop him in his tracks and making sure he is not trying to start a new world order. Now, they do call this type of game a run and gun kind of game. And you can probably see why, because when I was playing this, it, I wasn't still for very long. And what you obviously have along the way is many, many different weapons. Be it from machine guns, to flamethrowers, to shotguns to rocket launchers, you name it, they're all big, they're all powerful, you do have a pistol. The pistol is absolutely unlimited, whereas all the other weapons, they do actually run out eventually, which is a shame, because I absolutely love the machine gun. Actually, in all fairness, I love most of the guns, because they are just insanely powerful, which really says it all. Now, this game is slightly different to other running gun games, because when you get close to an enemy, you actually get the chance to melee them. You can stab them in the face. Yet yeah, you really, really can. Melee attacks are allowed here. And as well as your uh, amazing arsenal of weapons at your, you know, at your disposal, you also have the name of the actual game, Metal Slug. It's a tank. 
You can actually get a chip. Well, you can see the tank right there. That small cartoonish tank can absolutely destroy virtually anything. Now, you do only get... You don't usually last very long in it, I'll tell you that. It does seem to take damage really, really easily. But, you know, it's great when it's there. Along the way, you also have to... You have uh, boss battles, as you should with this type of game. Which are usually pretty damn hard. But then, this is an arcade game, so it was meant to eat all of your quarters, if you're American. Or your pound coins, let's just say over here. Actually, you know, a funny story is, the first time I played this was in Spain. Yeah, just found it in a hotel. And then ever since, it's become my favourite game of all time. Yeah, crazy story. Now, if you're thinking that this art style and this gameplay seems very, very similar. Now, you're right, because the team behind Metal Slug, they originally started at a company called IREM. IREM? I think it's IREM. Um, and create the game called Gun Force. Gun Force 2 and a game called In The Hunt, which I will be reviewing so we'll be able to see exactly what they're like. But apparently they're absolutely nigh on identical to the way Metal Slug plays. But we'll see. I must say, I actually do really, really like the controls for this. I think the Dreamcast controller actually comes into its own with this game. It just seems to be... I don't know, it seems to fit really, really well. Now, I, I don't use the uh, what I class as the analogue stick. I use the D-pad. I think the D-pad seems to work really well with this. D-pad and obviously just the standard buttons. Now, the right trigger is the pause button. I believe A is jump, X is fire. But you can obviously change these to how you'd want it to be and what you feel as being comfortable. But like I said, I personally think it's a really, really comfortable controller for this game and works really, really well. And obviously, if you have got another controller, make sure to team up with a mate because this game really does come into its own when you're playing multiplayer. And it does, let's face it, it's a bit easier when you've got another friend to die along with you because this game is absolutely hard as nails. But who cares? It's absolutely fun. Now, I don't usually do this, but I will tell you where this actually came from. This came from a... or where you can download it from. Um, this came from a website called DC Isozone. So if you know those guys over there, um, make sure to check their website out, because they have absolutely anything you can think of, as well as many ports and many original games on there as well. Make sure you check it out, because this one, you don't want to miss, because it's absolutely fantastic. It's a game I play a lot, it's a game I absolutely love, and like I said, I think you'll all enjoy it too. I've been Al from Games Rip, I hope you've enjoyed this. Give the video a like, and I'll see you all very, very soon. I'll leave you with some more footage from Metal Slug.